Also, do you think that they should, if they believe that the embassy should be moved, join a united uh, front of the Jewish community? I would have liked to see them supported. I wouldn't call it a mistake. They're entitled to their point of view. But I, I think from the perspective, from the more global perspective, it, it illustrates something very, very, very serious. And that is, all the president did was state a fact. He didn't change anything on the ground. In fact, the United States procedures on American citizens in Jerusalem and Israel, nothing has really changed. And, and despite that, you have violence, you have the most irrational rhetoric coming out of the Arab world, calling for the de-recognition of Israel. And I, in, in a way, I think the president's position and action exposed how far away we are from peace. Okay, let's bring this discussion into the yeah. studio. Nahama, your thoughts? Mr. Foxman, I would like to know, do you have any idea why didn't, didn't it happen until now? What, what they were afraid of, the previous presidents of the USA? There was blackmail, there were threats, they were afraid of violence, uh, violence which we saw. Um, that's what they were afraid of. I think we, as American Jewish community, we as Israel, I think made a mistake throughout the years. We should have had campaigns to have Jerusalem recognized. After all, we were talking for many, many years about West Jerusalem. So why Israel's, did you? Um, Knesset, Israel's... Uh, <clears throat> I, it's, well, it's a good Nahama, question. Nahama, I don't respect, know why we didn't. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Foxman is not a spokesman for the American government, but <laughs> I'd like to understand very briefly from you, no, Ruthie. For Ruth, the American you, jury. For yes. the American jury, perhaps. Um, well, not, not anymore. Uh, Ruthie, briefly from you, do you think the reform movement made a mistake at the time that Israel was receiving so much pressure over the Jerusalem recognition to say it couldn't support the president's move? It wasn't a mistake. It was a political move. The reform movement in the United States hates Donald Trump. The reform movement has very many anti-Israel elements that they claim are pro-Israel, but they're not actually pro-Israel. And I couldn't agree more with Mr. Well, let's Foxman. Go later.